Hello everyone, I'm Sao Ying Xiang from Group 6 in Section 1 of SBSC 2153. Let me introduce to you my group members, Qi Qian Yi, Kam Xing Ning, Chiu Zhen Yuan and Wang Wei Shen. We would like to present a case study, putting the balance scorecard to work in this video. So first and foremost, the topic is all about the application of the balance scorecard, in short, the BIC to an organization. But what is the reason why BIC is needed? As people's average income is getting higher and higher, people's consumption power is also increasing. Customers no longer choose the cheapest product but pay more attention to balance, which requires both good service of product and a price that is not too high. Thus, this is where the balance scorecard is connected with the required balance by the customers. VIC helps the organization to evaluate its performance not only financially but also non-financially. Generally, there are four perspectives that are take place in the BIC. First, from the financial perspective, by observing the cash in and cash out, an organization could obtain an understanding of the expenditures which are indispensable and which can be cut. The second is the customer perspective. Increasing customer satisfaction is important to help an organization sustain itself in the competitive market. Next is about the internal business processes. The key focus is on the efficiency of the production line of the company. Lastly, the learning and growth. It is generally related to the capability of the organization to create both customer and shareholder value. The case study is discussing the application of BIC in the business of three companies which are Rockwater, Apple Computer and also Advanced Micro Devices. The CEO of Rockwater found that major customers in its industry are changed their favour in selecting the supplier. The management team of Rockwater found that BIC can perfectly assist them in the process of achieving the company vision. A few strategies such as providing service that meet and beyond customers' expectations and needs, creating customer satisfaction, sustaining and perfecting the safety and effective utilizing of various costs are placed into Rockwater's BIC. Next, BIC has been used by Apple Computer in its previous performances. It is sense that the benefits brought by the BIC surpass the disadvantages. The effectiveness of Apple's BIC in its industry had made the name and is widely used by the company in the same field when they need to plan their business. Lastly, Advanced Micro Devices AMD also has been using the BIC for a long time. The BIC in AMD is used for strategic information that facilitates long-term trend analysis for planning and performance evaluation. So, what are the critical success factors in each of the four scorecard perspective? In balanced scorecard, critical success factors refer to the element in helping management to achieve the vision, mission, and strategic objective. For the first perspective, the financial perspective aims to reflect the view of stakeholders or other shareholders of the organization. For example, revenue, cost, and profit measure, the growth of interest rate, return of investment, cash flow measure, and the measure of shareholder values are the critical success factors in the financial perspective. They summarize the financial outcomes of decisions and activities of the organization based on the financial objective. Broadwater has five measures in this perspective, which are return of capital employed ROC, cash flow, project profitability, profit forecast reliability, and sales backlog. Apple computers use the metric of shareholder values only while there are no financial performance measure applied by advanced micro device. Thus, for customer perspective, Broadwater focused on the customer's edification index and market share by using the monthly customer ranking survey for tier 1 customer while concentrate on the price index for tier 2 customer due to the different tier customer having different objective. Apple Computer took their attention on the customer satisfaction and market share while advanced micro device focused on the on-time delivery and lead time. Third, the perspective of internal business process is the performance measure designed to monitor the internal business process. Rockwater measures its internal process by using the factor of how well spent with customer on new work, tender success rate, rework, safety incident index, or project performance index, and project close out cycle. While Apple Computer concentrate on their core competency. On the other hand, advanced micro device attach important to the critical business process in water fabrication and corporate quality, the development, test, and assembly of the new product and process technology, such as synchronous action precision, as well as the performance to schedule. Last but not least, learning and growth perspective focus more on the capability of an organization. This perspective is to concentrate on some infrastructure and develop some superior internal process to grow its employee customer value, shareholder value, and deliver the improvement of the company in a long-term period. For the purpose of keeping a continuous growth and improvement, Rockwater develop an environment full of an atmosphere of supportive, motivational, and empowering. It also generates a survey of staff attitude related to the metric percentage or number of employee suggestions to the climate and revenue per employee to measure the motivation and empowerment of its employee that will influence the rate of improvement index and the percentage rate of revenue generated from new products or service. Every two years, 
Apple Computers will conduct a comprehensive employee survey in each organization segment to investigate the understanding of employee to the organization strategy and the consistent of their job outcome expectation with the company plans. Advanced micro device emphasize on the targeted improvement rate by focusing on the measure of cycle time and yield by a process to ensure the continuous growth of the company can be guaranteed and keep its innovation quality. In terms of internal processes, we have to improve product quality as well as develop new and innovative products. Not only that, we should also ensure our operation and marketing service have good performance. From the customer view, the quality of product and service is very important because if the customer is dissatisfied with the product or service, then we'll complain. On the other hand, if we can provide the best product or service at a reasonable price and good customer service for our customer, the customer satisfaction will increase. If customer satisfaction increase, the sales and revenue will increase. This is because we have placid customer trust and they will be more likely to stick around for the long term. From the shareholder view, they are most concerned with the profitability of the company. They will evaluate our company performance based on financial statement information such as EPS or ROI. In addition, they will also look at our company growth, fixed costs, profit and so on. If our financial performance is good, the shareholders will be very happy and they might invest more funds in us. Not only that, we can also attract new investors. Besides, we have to improve our employee satisfaction and technical skill effectively in terms of the ability to innovate and grow. We can send employees to undergo training regularly in order to develop a new product and bring it to market. This is because the value of a company is directly related to its ability to innovate, improve and learn. In other words, a company can only penetrate new market and increase revenue and margin through the ability to launch new products, create more value for customer, and improve operating efficiencies. From customer perspective, customer satisfaction will increase will their expectations and needs are met. From shareholder perspective, the shareholder value will increase when we can bring higher return for them. The balance scorecard is not a collection of performance measurements. The performance indicators are derived from the company objective and strategy, and it was divided into two types, which are lag indicator and lead indicator. Lag indicator measurements are all from the financial perspective and mostly result from past behavior. It shows whether the implementation of the strategy successfully and deliver the desired financial consequence. Thus, it was very important. While for the lead indicator, it is an indicator that provides actionable information and drive outcome for future financial performance. This indicator is usually specified to a particular strategy and therefore supports the objective of linking measure to strategies. Lead indicators tend to be non-financial measure and mostly relate to the customer, internal business process, and learning and growth perspective. First of all, the vision of Rockwater is to become one of the industry leaders in future. Rockwater have developed strategy to achieve their vision and management level have transformed it into a balanced shortcut. The objective of Rockwater's financial perspective are the high return of capital, continuous stability of cash flow, delivery of project profitability, and reliability of performance. The management team emphasize reduce the historical uncertainty through forecast reliability that signal the corporate parents' desire and use the performance measure of return on capital employed and cash flow, which reflect their short-term result. Focus on the sales backlog and use this measure of project profitability to manage the basic unit for planning and controlling. While customer perspective is to develop has a free relationship with tier 1 customer and maintain the tier 2 customer under the condition of competing, Rockwater conduct questionnaire on customer satisfaction monthly and it will reflect on the customer satisfaction index to determine the rank in the customer ranking survey. And the pricing index incorporates the competitive position provided in order to retain tier 2 customers. Shipping the customer requirement, tender effectiveness, quality service, safety or loss control and superior project management are the objective in internal perspective. Rockwater found that safety was a major competitive factor. Hence, the safety incident index of the product will determine whether the product needs to be reworked. Besides that, Rockwater also found out the hour with customer on new work are related to the tender success rate. For the last perspective in Rockwater, the learning and growth perspective are focused on the capability of industry. Rockwaters use the rate of improvement index and the percentage rate of revenue to measure the improvement rate and employee attitude survey and metrics of the number of employee suggestions can measure whether this climate is developing. Finally, revenue per employee measure the result of employee commitment and training program. In the second company, the Apple computer also developed a balance scorecard to help them achieve their vision. 
the management level of Apple Computer focus on strategy and also focus on each of the four perspectives to measure category. The financial perspective of Apple Computer have emphasized the return of shareholder value. The shareholder value was used to offset the sales growth and gross margin that ignore investment growth. Rather than that, the shareholder value also quantified the impact of a proposed investment on the growth and creation of the business. This measure helped senior management to assess the valuation of the entire company and help to evaluate new venture. Next, Apple Computer amended his original objective and used the balance scorecard to achieve their new objective. High customer satisfaction. Apple conduct customer survey and the feedback will reflect the customer satisfaction index. Second objective is to reach the market share threshold because a good reputation usually symbolizes their product quality. So it would be able to retain and attract more software developers to Apple Computer and benefit the growth of sales at once. In the internal perspective, Apple Computer have emphasized competency of employee, such as user-friendly interface and powerful software architecture. Because we could know that the core competency will affect the industry's performance, and with no competency, the employee will be motivated to work. Followed by learning and growth perspective, objective is understanding of employee on the company strategy. Apple Computer conducts employee survey every two years to find out the agreement and commitment of employee on their work. At One Micro's device is a company that has their own strategy statement, mission, and consensus among executives about its competitive niche. AMD has a lot of performance measures from many sources and information systems. The balance scorecard combines all measures and information into a quarterly briefing book. In this case study, there are no performance measures in financial perspective, such as growth margin, revenue, or sales growth involved in the balance scorecard. So we assume that at One Micro device have no critical success factor in this perspective. In the customer perspective, to maintain high customer satisfaction is delivered time and on time deliver to ensure customer satisfaction and loyalty to the company. In order to achieve success in the field of internal perspective, AMD aims to facilitate long term trade analysis for planning and performance evolution. Testing and assembly of new product process technology and performance to schedule are very essential. Through this series of operation, the company would be able to produce more quality products. Lastly, the AMD emphasized the target improvement rate to achieve learning, innovation, and growth in the learning and growth perspective. Therefore, AMD valued the performance metric of cycle time and volume in operation production. These measures are to ensure the continuous growth of the company and maintain the quality of innovation. Is the strategy map a visual representation that directly and obviously explain the factor and effect relationship linking the objective of the BMC perspective and the organization objective? It can be used in communication to managers about the strategic component and the system of process, which help in achieving it. This is the strategy map of Lord Water. We can understand the factor and the effect relationship between each BMC performance measure that link to the objective of Broadwater, which are to surpass customers' expectations and needs, gain customer satisfaction, maintain a continuous improvement, ensure the quality level of its employee, and fulfill the shareholder expectation. For instance, in Broadwater, as the rate of improvement index and the employee satisfaction increase, the hours spent with customers on new work, reward rate, and the safety incident index can be decreased due to the intertender success rate for the product increase. In Apple Computer, the core competency affected by the comprehensive employee will influence the shareholders' metric, customer satisfaction, and market share. This is because the better the result of the comprehensive employee survey, the greater the employee quality and core competency. The higher the shareholder value and the customer satisfaction as well as the more the market share. Advanced Micro Device developed BSE to drive the change process. So, the company did not apply financial performance measure in BSE, which led to achieve limited success only. The factor that it applied in the customer perspective is on time, delivery, and date time. Advanced Micro Device concentrate a lot in the internal business process by using multiple and various measures, which are the performance measure as shown on the map. Advanced Micro Device also had a targeted improvement rate, so it emphasized the cycle time and the yield by the process in the perspective of learning and growth. For the conclusion, the has become a high-value, service-oriented and service-driven organization that caters to both long-term and price-conscious clients. The implementation of a balanced scorecard has changed the firm from a departmental to a process-based perspective of operations. Apple's balancing scorecard assess employees' commitment to the company's strategy goals. The corporation used extensive employee survey as well as smaller, more regular posts. Apple valued market share not just for sales growth, but also for hiring and maintaining outstanding software engineers. Overall, the scoring system assists staff in achieving their goals. For advanced micro devices, is that it gives a framework for senior executives and leaders to establish a comprehensive strategy rather than just maximize one aspect of the business. Managers may use the balance scorecard to look at the firm from four distinct angles.
that's all from us thank you